Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a super quick video on how to clean your room in under 15 minutes. Now I have made lots of videos in the same style of this in the past maybe 12 months ago. I'm just going to basically go over the same steps that I used to use now that I'm back in work and I've got more of a routine going. I know the days that I'm cleaning and what's happening and I'm basically going to go through the tips that I use to get the room cleaned super quick. There's not many but the first and the most important one is to open the blinds and the windows. If it's upstairs it's safe to open the windows. Obviously if it's downstairs and you're going out to work or anything like that then you not going to want to open windows but if it's upstairs open the windows and open the blinds next thing that you're going to do is make your bed make it up i used to leave my bed open halfway down so it could air and i found doing that it did look still look tidy but the cushions never looked just as nice as it did when it was made so on the days that i'm not in work i will leave the bed open to wear but on the days that i'm in work i will make the bed because it makes the room look so much tidier when the bed is actually made and rather than leaving it half open it just looks nice and tidy and there's nothing better than coming home and seeing that a room is nice and tidy next thing that you're going to do is clear the surfaces now my bedroom is quite minimal i only have bedside lamps on the bedside tables i have the tv in the room and then i have a shoe storage cabinet at the bottom of the bed which has got a reed diffuser on and just some little lilac peonies just to break the room up a tiny bit so when i've done my makeup in the morning which happens at this mirror i will tidy as soon as i'm done i will put everything away in these storage this one's got all my beauty products in i will put things away straight away so they're not left lying around and if it doesn't have a home have a storage box or a storage basket to just put stuff in that you can put in a corner and sort out when you come home but don't leave that basket in the corner because you'll end up putting more in there and it will just accumulate so if it can't be done there and then if you've got a bit of laundry or anything like that pop it into a basket and sort it when you get home the next thing is to give a quick whiz round with the hoover which is really easy for me to do because i've got the dyson v8 animal vacuum which is a cordless vacuum it's stored in my office behind the door and i just pull it out and it literally takes me minutes to just go over and hoover the room because i've either brushed my hair or i've got out the shower or anything like that and giving a quick hoover around the floor is just something that i do and it takes me literally a couple of minutes to do it and it picks up any bits of bedding or anything like that and the floors are nice and clean then once you have opened the blinds made the bed cleared the counters and give the floor a little hoover it's well under 15 minutes and the room looks aesthetically nice and tidy now this isn't a deep clean it's basically just a once over before you're rushing off to work or rushing off to go and do the school run whatever it may be it's just a nice quick clean where it's done i give a little spritz of air freshener in the room so it's nice and fresh and that's it if and the same applies to your lounge dining room kitchen whatever room if you can clear the counters fluff the cushions up on the sofas vacuum the rug i highly recommend investing into a cordless vacuum for this you don't have to purchase the dyson or anything like that there are just as good vacuums where they are cordless and they work really well and they're only half the price of a dyson i highly recommend investing into a cordless vacuum it makes it so much easier to pull a cordless vacuum out and just give the once over super quick a little spray of air freshener if you're not going out anywhere open your windows and let that fresh air in and the place looks aesthetically tidy if you've been out to work and you're coming home you're coming home to a nice clean room i can generally do my whole house in 15 minutes but you know we're either really tidy neat people or we're not so tidy and i think in my 20s maybe even early 30s i was tidy but i wasn't as meticulously tidy as i am now um, and i think that's just because life is kind of hectic when you're in your 20s and your early 30s and i've kind of slowed down a little bit because i'm getting a little bit old but yeah we're either really tidy people or we're not so tidy now i am a really tidy person so i will tidy as i go and i can't recommend that enough if i'm cooking i will always clean as i go so when it comes to sitting down and eating our dinner the only things that have to be done are the plates that we're eating off 
and a clean as a go. This is why it's hard for me to make cleaning videos because I am quite a clean and tidy person. I'm not necessarily an organised person, but I'm working on that. I'm working on organising behind the scenes of the bits that you don't see so I can bring you some future content on decluttering and being organised. But yeah, I'm quite a clean and tidy person so I can go through my house in 15 minutes it hasn't had a deep clean, but aesthetically everywhere looks nice and tidy. And yeah, that's it. They're my little top tips on how to clean a room in under 15 minutes, make it look aesthetically pleasing so it's a nice calm environment for you to come home from work to or home from the school run or whatever it may be and just relax in peace. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Have a fabulous day everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.